today's top stories. U.S. President Barack Obama on Sunday said that the United States must seek a way out of the war in Afghanistan and made clear that military force alone would not bring stability to that war-torn country. Obama, who was interviewed on CBS television's 60 Minutes program, also signaled that his administration was redefining the U.S. mission in Afghanistan. He said, quote, There's got to be an exit strategy. There's got to be a sense that this is not a perpetual drift. When asked what Obama's mission in Afghanistan should be, Obama replied, quote, Making sure that al-Qaeda cannot attack the U.S. homeland and U.S. interests and our allies. That's our number one priority. Iran's leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei on Sunday told a gathering in the city of Mashhad that his support for the government of President Ahmadinejad was not linked to the upcoming presidential election. And he reminded that rumors and predictions have prevailed and will always prevail about the stance of a leader in the election. Khamenei devoted part of his speech to the presidential election, due to be held on June 12th this year. Iran's political and religious leader explained that he had only one vote to place in the ballot box and he is not going to tell others whom he will be voting for and whom he will not. He added that the issue depended on the people's own choices. Khaled Mishal, the exiled leader of the Palestinian militant group Hamas, said on Sunday that President Barack Obama is using a new language in relations with the Middle East, and it is only a matter of time before he makes official overtures towards Hamas. In an interview with an Italian daily, Mashal said, quote, A new language towards the region is coming from President Obama. The challenge for everybody is for this to be the prelude to a genuine change in the U.S. and European policies. The paper said that Meshal was reacting to Obama's offer for a new beginning in relations with Iran. But Meshal did not explicitly mention Iran or Obama's recorded message. The Hamas leader's remarks came a day after Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei dismissed the U.S. overture by saying that Obama's slogan of change should be translated into practice. He called for a strategic, rather than a tactical, change in U.S. policy and left open the possibility of improved ties, saying if the U.S. were to change, Iran's behavior too would be different. These stories and more at televisionwashington.com.